Before I get started, make sure you guys get in my giveaway to win a free copy of Black Ops Cold War. Check out the link down in the description below. Yo, what's going on YouTube? I wanted to make this video of my first impressions on Black Ops Cold War, so without further ado, here it is. I'm gonna be going over the good, the bad, and the ugly. We'll start with the good. First up on the good list is the time to kill. It's between Black Ops 4 and Modern Warfare. Uh, I think it's in a pretty good spot right now. Uh, always play in Black Ops 4. I wished it was a little bit faster, just because the potential to get multi-kills is, uh, it's, it's harder when the, uh, the time to kill is longer, when it takes more time to kill people, because the second or third enemy becomes aware of you attacking them and can turn around and get you right back. So a high time to kill uh, does allow for more movement and just more decision making in gunfights and is good overall. But when it's too high, uh, then the game becomes way too stale and it kind of becomes a team shooting fest. So I kind of like where it is right now. Second on the good list is guns. Um, other than the AK-74U, I think they all seem pretty balanced. I know there was a lot of love for the 74U. But there were some other guns I found, like the semi-auto Type 63, that I was actually frying people using the 74U with. So yeah, it is a little bit overpowered, and they already said they were going to tone it down. So we'll see what the game looks like once that is uh, in line with the rest of the SMGs. Movement. Uh, movement feels incredible coming from Modern Warfare. You're able to notice strafing, jumping, crouching, and sliding all during and leading up to gunfights. And you're kind of able to use all of them aggressively. Uh, the one thing I will say with movement is that the sprint and walking dirty. speed could be a little bit faster um maybe they'll add lightweight in as a perk we'll see oh, now for the bad for the first one in bad i have maps and i only have maps because treyarch in my opinion makes the best call of duty maps by far these maps were pretty good but they were not up to treyarch standards uh, miami was a little bit too big a little too dark and uh kind of really no flow to the whole middle of the map just cars spread across the street and uh, there were some weird areas in the back but they said they were changing that already so we'll see how it goes from there uh they moscow was a really good three lane on. map i liked that one and the satellite Tone one it, it just needed to tone down uh the ability to kind of head glitch with the sniper and, and see the whole entire map from the sides so we'll see what they do with that number two kill streaks uh kill streaks i like the idea that they're doing however it needs to be a lot more transparent i have no idea what kind of score I'm getting from doing what, what a kill gives me, and what progress that's making towards the kill streak. They're like grayed out in the corner, they have a little bar Tyler underneath team. them. I understand there's a cooldown, and the bar is my progression there, but it would be nice to know what exactly I need insane. to do to fill that bar up, and why sometimes it just wouldn't let me activate it. I couldn't tell if that was just me. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. Bad number two. Dead zone. It felt like there was a giant oh dead God. zone in the right stick. Um, I use a control freak when I play, so I can tell the little intricate movements on the stick, and they just weren't registering. So I hope that's something they uh, they polish off. I know it's the alpha, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. And the last on the bad list, Ninja. I'm so happy that Ninja's in the game. However, the current state it's in, Ninja isn't really Ninja. I can hear myself sprinting. I can even hear myself walking. I understand if you want to make it balanced and kind of still be able to hear people when they're sprinting, but when I'm walking, I want to be completely silent with that perk. Um, otherwise, there's really no advantage to running it. If I'm a little quieter, it doesn't really matter. People have their headphones cranked up. They're still going to hear me. So I'd like for them to make the walking speed at least completely silent with, uh, with Ninja. And now for the ugly. Uh, snipers having no flinch is just a little too overpowered. When you're shooting somebody, they should not be able to scope in faster than the time to kill of the weapon and just one-shot you with zero flinch with a high zoom scope. Uh, there's really nothing you can do to counter it. I know they don't want flinch in the game, but just put them on the snipers with the high zoom scopes, that way you have a chance. Ugly number two, shotguns as secondary. Didn't see too much spam of this in the beta, but I know that as you continue to play, um, people are gonna get different attachments for those shotguns. The Spaz 12 was already pretty gross up close. It had a silencer, it was semi-auto, and uh, it was almost impossible to compete with. Uh, it was killing faster than the SMGs, so why would you ever use an SMG when there's a shotgun you can spray with and it's just easier? And last but certainly not least, I'm sure everybody else has this on their list, skill-based matchmaking. I think skill-based matchmaking was designed with good intentions in mind. That being said, you can keep the bottom 20 or 30% of players in a population of their own while they learn the game, and then you should kind of open it up from there. 
There's no need that people with above two and a half KDs only need to play people with above two and a half KDs. Otherwise, you can't just hop on and have fun either. So they definitely need to tone down kind of the, the skill allocation within skill-based matchmaking. I understand there's no way they're ever going to take it out due to the amount of money that Modern Warfare made and it probably had their strongest skill-based matchmaking yet. But if they could just tone it down, I think that would save the game for a lot of people who really like Call of Duty. Well, that's my full list as of now, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and be sure to get in my giveaway for a copy of Black Ops Cold War. Uh, link is in the description. Get in there, get yourself a copy of the game, and as always, enjoy. See ya. on. 